What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and as you can see, Pokemon 151 has landed. We just got the boxes in, so we're gonna get a video out real quick. Um, today, we're gonna be opening ETB for myself. Uh, we do have a couple breaks lined up for some patrons already, uh, but I do like to get one video out for myself, just see what we can pull. Uh, off camera, I did open one of the binder collections. Uh, nice binder. And I think like the price per pack is ever so slightly higher. I think it's 25 for just four packs uh, versus 20. But I think that's okay. The binder is, you know, not not amazing, but for that five dollars, I think it's pretty worth it. Um, I actually don't know all the cards in this set. I did look at some of the alt arts, and um, do know that uh, one of our patrons, Ty, did pull the. Charizard alt art from a whatnot um, sale so congrats to him he's gonna sign up for a break later but yeah so I did open up the binder thing and uh, wow I have nothing to show oh, what are these? all I had to show for it was that binder so so far it seems like this set can be pretty tough as far as pull rates sample size equals four in that regard uh, but we're gonna take nine more stabs at it and just gotta say I feel like the the design, the logo, the aesthetic of the set is very clean. Um, feels like Celebrations 2.0 to me. And we do have this really nice Snorlax centering. I don't, maybe it's not great left to right. Let's just cut you open to confirm. But very solid promo here. Fortunately, I do not have any of the PC ones. Uh, my order got canceled. It's very frustrating. Oh, I feel like this is pretty good. Um, centering, maybe not perfect, but ETB promos. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of them out there. And the one that's really going to fetch the higher price value-wise will be the one with that PC logo on it. Solid sleeves. I, uh, yeah, my um, significant other made a kind of like, oh, she felt like there's just like a bunch of emojis in the background. So... Everything about the set, I feel like, is uh, looking very good. And um, yeah, very excited to get into it. So here we go into pack number one. Looking for some alt arts. The first, the first four packs I did off camera, ooh, they were brutal. And I think I kind of want to find the at least one of the common Snorlaxes because I feel like that was that was me after we opened those packs. It's like, mm, yeah, nothing to show for it. Fidget Ammonite. I do really like this idea of just the 151 and I think I imagine it's only something you can do once like the next um, whatever the the next region was you know I don't Johto or whatever I don't think you could do like whatever 152 to 250 whatever so I think so far the set looks really good and here we go just over five so far tough tough set to start let's get our first alt art the pull rates do seem more like a regular set sample size very small but let versus like celebrations versus like crown zenith uh which i did have a lot of fun opening Ooh, <laughs> that's that's low book that's pretty good uh but yeah so far the art looks pretty good i think i saw on reddit like a zip one of the legendary birds oh that looked really good too scyther charmeleon solid art right there and these aren't even the alt arts so a lot of stuff to be excited for. Bills transfer, except hits. We got evolution, but doesn't really count. So maybe, maybe it's, that's gonna start uh, pretty slow, but you know, if that means more hits for our patrons, I am all for that. Another solid art. Uh, and people did talk about these like God packs where you can get your two reverses and your rare slots are all art, alt arts of one of the base starters or the whole line. Slow bro. Ooh. Solid slow poke, slow bro arts. All right, reverse one. I don't know if you'd just get like one hit, like even if it's just in the first reverse slot or second. We have yet to get anything from this set. I tried to take a peek on TCG player. I don't know, maybe it's because they have like a gallery or something or whatever they're calling it these times but like the 
the most expensive one was just like a Charizard EX for an absurd price. So when the set isn't even released, I don't think that information means anything. Oh, I like this Abra. I feel like his pose is, I think, the exact same that they had in the Game Boy game right before it teleported away. Diglett, Drowsy, Parasect, Cloyster, Giovanni, Eevee. Come on, give me something. Spiro. No, my gosh, this is so... All right, this set is, this is a tough one, all. I am excited, but so far very underwhelmed with these results, Pidgey. Ooh, I, I still am a huge fan. I picked up a bunch of the whole Pidgey line from City of Fames. City and Flames picked up on secondary markets. I felt like the prices were very good for the quality of arts. And to the reverse slot, we got a Doug Trio. Gyarados, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, you know, what is what I like to see as far as how difficult it is to pull stuff from a set. And I don't know, I feel like I was pretty happy when you get like a box and you know, like over 10 hits, but I could see it being argued, oh, there's just too many. It's not hard enough, but it does make opening much easier. I did really enjoy Crown Zenith, where I felt like it was like almost 50% hit ratio. Uh, Celebrations doesn't really count. That's kind of like a one-off kind of thing with the small packs. Porygon. <laughs> Pink Air Blue. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. It's a first hit. We got a Venusaur. No alt arts yet, but we're we're on the board, so to speak. But uh, <laughs> I, I I hope everyone has good luck with their polls, because it does seem I feel like I did see one post on Reddit. It was like something like, "This set is tough," and you know, obviously it's very anecdotal. Um, but so far, I agree. All right, Ponyta, Pikachu. Ooh, I really like that far fetched. Very cartoony for the Pokemon where the background is less so. Old Amber Seeking, a Butterfree, Lapras, Needle Queen. Oh my gosh, where are the alt arts? Okay, all right, all right. A full art supporter. We'll take it. I think, I don't know what the waifu situation is. I know there's at least like an Erica's something. I think it was a big deal in the Japanese set. Centering looks very solid. I don't think Bill is very high on my priority list of getting things graded, but you will go into a penny sleeve and actually I feel like the card quality has been good for it was in my experience good in City and Flames, but then when I bought a bunch of singles off a of TCG player, they were all over the place. So at least my boxes were pretty good centering. Alright, two packs remaining two hits one of them really meh the second one will give it a solid hit but still no alt art pokemon which we really man these are the base arts that's really good i think he's walking on like a golf course or something a ghastly and then a gyarados oh last pack nine packs so i obviously like when you just whiff it it just hurts um but I'm not totally against the idea of tightening the pull rates. Uh, you know, the idea of things being hard to get and you don't get that many hits. I'm not totally against it, but this is painful. Charmeleon, Solid Arts, Golduck, Paris. We didn't even get that Snor Snorlax that hard. It's like, this is me right now. Last card, a Dodrio. Oh my. This set is tough, guys. Uh, wish everyone best of luck. I'm still, you know, pretty motivated pretty pumped uh, I'll take a look at that ETB pamphlet just to see what kind of stuff we can get oh obviously we did this this time um, shout out to all the patrons and if you are go signing up for a break best of luck and yeah thanks for watching everyone I'm Warren Turtle I'll catch you all next time peace